All right, everyone, welcome today to my custom in-house uh, rainstorm simulator. This is where we're going to be filming the video today because I'm going to be testing out a couple of products that are supposed to be doing, uh, supposed to do quite well in the water and in the rain. We're gonna use a pen and that pen we're gonna use on a right in the rain sketch or notepad. I've heard that uh, cops and stuff like that, people that use, you know, that need to ride in the rain sometimes use these so if I can get it open, then we'll try it out. It's got a, I mean, it looks pretty nice. It looks like a regular sketch pad off the bat. As you can see, it has uh, lines going one way and then some dotted lines going the other way, kind of forming a little bit of a grid system. It seems to be holding up all right in the water. The water beads up on it. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of rolling off there. But it still feels like normal paper. Interesting. All right, we're in our rainstorm now, and the pen we're gonna be looking at is the Fisher Space Pen. Uh, I think this is a very well-known pen. It, uh, it says it was developed in uh, 1965, 1967, something like that. It's pressurized, you know, astronauts were supposed to use it or something like that. I will say the box doesn't hold up that well in the rain simulated rain, whatever is going on here. Nice plastic case, that's a little better. We'll say this pen is doing nothing to keep water out of my eyes. Um, just putting that out there. I could use a little help there. I'm guessing you're supposed to unbox it uh, before you get into the rainstorm. There's like a little tab right here, but I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to push it in or pull it out, or maybe that's the hinge. No, that's the hinge over there. I think. Oh, my hands are too slippery and wet. I'll figure it out. All right, so I had to pop it off of its hinges to get it open. I was probably doing that wrong. Um, that one's on me, but here it is. The pen is housed in a little cradle that looks kind of like the moon, I suppose. There's some documentation in there. And uh, I will say the pen is much smaller than I envisioned, than I planned it would be. I'll see it. There we are. Is it writing on my hand? It's writing on my hand a little bit. It does feel like it's pretty much solid metal. Apparently how it works. Oh, that's good. When you put the pen, the cap on the back, when you post it, it becomes more of a manageable size for using. Also, although it is kind of slick and slippery, you can see how it's nice that they put some little uh, lines in the middle here. I'm drinking a lot of water. It's hard to talk with water pouring down your when you're in a rainstorm, I mean. But yeah, there's a nice little grip here. There's a rubber gasket for when you put the cap on, I suppose. Keeps the outer space from getting in there if you're, a, you know, an astronaut. But some people suggested uh, the last time I posted it, a uh, review of like a pressurized pen like this that uh, there's a lot of occupations in which you need a pen that can write upside down in the water. Um, occupations which I obviously have no real uh, personal experience with. All right, so this piece of paper has been sitting here pretty much covered in water the whole time I've been talking. Let's see if it stands up. Test. 
it's running a little bit. You see that? I don't know if it's the, but not too much, not too much. I've seen, I've seen a lot of inks do work. It's, forgive my handwriting in this difficult moment. Hello, that's a good word to try. It's very slick and smooth and it's not having trouble putting the ink down. Also the paper is not um, breaking down like paper normally would, so that's good, right? Sorry, I don't have my normal uh, don't have my normal camera set up right now. It's very interesting how some of the ink, uh, some of the ink dribbles down, and some of it stays on the paper right there very nicely. The paper feels soggy, but like I said, it's not falling apart. The ink isn't bleeding really. I mean, like I said, a little bit. Um, we should try writing upside down. The pages are sticking together a little bit. But, like I said, if I was like a police officer or a construction worker or something and I had to take some notes really quickly in a hurry, in a rush, in the rainstorm, I would have all the pertinent information there. The pen's working, it's there on the paper, and then I can fold up my notebook, you know, and put it in my soggy, in my soggy pocket. Like so. But yes, let's try writing upside down. I don't know how long you need to write upside down before it becomes like a test, like it's successful. Like how quickly does a normal pen run out writing upside down? It's hard to write upside down and in the rain at the same time because, well, because of the rain. It goes into your eyes. It's working pretty good. How do you like that? That's a nice drawing. I know I usually do a little drawing when I do my pen reviews and that's what you get this time. It's gonna be a pretty short video because of the uh, circumstances. Uh, I'd say it works. Obviously this is a little bit of a, you know, the, the pen has got a little bit of a reputation for its own. Most people aren't going into space, but it works for things like the box says. Uh, upside down, underwater, over grease. Maybe we'll have to try that in the future. Extreme cold and hot temperatures. I haven't right, tried that either. And it says it has an estimated shelf life of 100 years. Which is interesting because I never really thought about pens expiring because I have, I think I have a pen of my own that's 100 years old. So that's like a vintage fountain pen. Anyways, I'm just rambling now. I'm not sure what else I should be doing in this video besides trying it out in the rain. So, uh... It's also hard to sniff in the rain because you start inhaling water. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, everyone. See you later. The pen and the pad seem to work, even if this one is a little bit overhyped by its legacy. That's all I wanted to find out. Okay, bye.